Ursa Major, meaning Great Bear, is one of the most notable and recognized constellations outside of the 12th zodiac. This is most likely because the Big Dipper, one of the most well-known asterisms in the sky today, lies within this constellation. Many different theologies and cultures each have their own interpretation of the origins of Ursa Major. The most widely known mythology of this constellation comes from ancient Rome. According to the Romans, the maiden Castillo was hunting in the forest when she grew tired and laid down to rest. Jupiter spots the beautiful Castillo and proceeds to rape her, which results in her giving birth to Jupiter's son Arcus. This angers Jupiter's wife Juno, who transforms Castillo into a bear. Arcus comes across his mother Castillo while hunting and tries to kill her. Jupiter changes Arcus into a bear as well and casts them into the sky together so as to never have to see them again. Thus, Ursa Major and Ursa Minor were born. The Native American culture also has their own interpretation of Ursa Major. According to them, a bear is being chased by three hunters. These hunters are shown in the constellation by what appears to be the tail of the bear or the handle of the Big Dipper. In their legend, the blood of the bear is the cause for the red coloring of leaves in the autumn. In the Arabian culture, Ursa Major is seen as a coffin followed by its mourners, and in the English culture it is seen as King Arthur's chariot slowly circling the sky. Many references to Ursa Major appear in many media in today's popular culture. In 1997, a movie entitled Ursa Major was written and directed by William Chambers. Ursa Major is also the name of a superhero in the Marvel comic universe, first appearing in The Incredible Hulk number 258. Yeah, and don't bother racking your brain guessing what his superpower is, he's just kind of a bear. There's also an awards ceremony named after the constellation called the Ursa Major Awards which focuses on arts that include non-humans doing humanistic things. There's also a theater troupe called Ursa Major Theater, a Third Eye Blind album entitled Ursa Major, as well as a men's skincare line called Ursa Major Skincare for Men. The Big Dipper, which is part of Ursa Major, is even seen in Van Gogh's painting Starry Night Over the Rhone. Being one of the easier constellations in the sky to spot with the naked eye may explain the popularity and cultural enthusiasm received by Ursa Major. Ursa Major's five brightest stars in descending order include 1. Nu, aka Alula Borealis, located at the end of the back paw. 2. Kappa, located at the end of the front paw. 3. Mu, or Tania Australis, located at the end of the other back paw. 4. Alpha, also known as Dupa, located in the middle of the bear's back. And finally, Eta or Alcade, located at the end of the tail. Due to the large amount of gas and dust contained within it, star formation is very common in Ursa Major. One such star forming region within this constellation is M101, otherwise referred to as the Pinwheel Galaxy. The Pinwheel Galaxy lies 25 million light years away from Earth and is 170,000 light years in diameter, with a mass of roughly 100 billion solar masses. Near the Pinwheel Galaxy lies NGC 2841 which is 150,000 light years in diameter. Both of these star forming regions lie toward the northern section of Ursa Major. The only planetary nebula that lies within Ursa Major is M97, most commonly referred to as the Owl Nebula. M97 is 3.2 arc minutes in diameter and is 2300 light years away from the Sun which in astronomical terms is relatively close. Only 10 times smaller than the full moon, M97 can be seen in the night sky, although it's usually easiest to see at around midnight.
Ursa Major contains one supernova remnant roughly 11 million light years from us inside the spiral galaxy M81. Supernova remnants are named based on the year they were discovered, thus the full name of the supernova inside of Ursa Major is referred to as NS1993J, because it was discovered in 1993. Astronomers have found this supernova remnant to be one of the brightest in the northern sky since 1954. There are many globular clusters located in Ursa Major. The most well-known of these is known as the Ursa Major Dwarf or Palomar IV. The Ursa Major Dwarf lies 356 kilolight years away from us with a diameter of about 1.3 arc minutes. To give you a basic idea of how many globular clusters Ursa Major has, there's about 80 clusters in the M108 galaxy alone. The only notable open cluster in Ursa Major is a moving cluster known as Colander 285. It contains 14 stars inside of it, 13 of which actually lie inside Ursa Major. The star Sirius, along with about 100 other stars, used to be a part of this cluster, but later escaped due to being pulled by tidal forces of the Milky Way. Now that they've left the cluster, their orbits around the Milky Way galaxy's center is still very similar to that of the cluster itself, so they still have a common motion. This is referred to as the Ursa Major Stream, and it spans more than 100 light years from the cluster's center. There are currently 59 spiral galaxies within Ursa Major. The most well-known is the spiral galaxy M81, also referred to as NGC 3031. This galaxy is classified as a Type SB with a size of roughly 24.90 light years. M81 has the brightest visual magnitude of any other spiral galaxy in Ursa Major. It also has a twin galaxy known as M82, or the Cigar Galaxy, which happens to be an irregular galaxy. M82 creates stars 10 times the rate of any other galaxies in Ursa Major. These two galaxies are separated by about 150,000 light years. Out of the 88 constellations in the sky, Ursa Major is the third largest. The Big Dipper was formed only 50,000 years ago, which is really young astronomically speaking. The middle star of Ursa Major is actually two separate stars and used to be used to conduct eye exams on soldiers and ancient armies. Ursa Major is visible all year round because it never sets below the northern horizon in the northern hemisphere. Other names for Ursa Major are the Butcher's Cleaver, St. Peter's Skiff, which is like a tiny boat, Thor's Wagon, Charles Wayne, Bull's Thigh, Saucepan, and Chariot. And that concludes our video on Ursa Major. Thank you very much for watching.